Tasmanian election, GetUp members around the country supported Tasmanians in their fight to clean up the politics that made the pulp mill. We were on the ground and in the airwaves with a powerful ad featuring guns whistleblower Dr. Warwick Raverty. The politicians of both major parties have put guns interests above those of ordinary Tasmanians. Oh, the purpose of this evening is the unhealthy relationship between the government and um, the timber industry in particular. It seems to a great many Tasmanians that uh, Guns Timber Company is actually controlling the government. It is time that Tasmanian politics had a radical change. The moment that was crucial for me was, was flying down to Launceston and going to the Tangmar Valley. They opened their um, lives and their hearts to me and they told me about their stories. They're weary, but they're courageous. Uh, their stories are tragic, but they're resilient. Um, and we took that story to members all over Australia and told them about the fight that you have right now to clean up Tasmanian politics. Uh, and we asked them to get behind you, uh, and they did. One of the first stories I was told by a woman in Tasmania who runs a consultancy. She went along to one of Gunn's meetings. She raised her hand and said, if you do not plan to chip one more piece of timber, how do you plan to honour your existing contracts with the Japanese? He didn't answer her, he just walked up to her and put his fist inches from her face and said, do not ask questions like that in a public forum. I said, why didn't you complain to the police? That's assault. And she said, Warwick, you don't live in Launceston. I'd have a box of matches in my letterbox within 24 hours. I've heard so many stories about the corruption of your police force, the intimidation of honest public servants who fear for their jobs, and people in Launceston live in constant fear. But they're the sort of networks of fear and intimidation that our current two-party political system not only relies upon, but encourages. GetUp's clear message, backed by Dr. Raverty's story, resonated with Tasmanian voters. On election day, they went to the polls committed to ending Tasmania's divisive politics. The, the whole pulp mill issue, I think, is a big important one. Politicians in Tasmania were not acting straightforward, honest, open manner. I'm a swinging voter. I change with who I think is right for the state. I voted different this time. This divisive politics is actually dividing the community and it's very destructive and I think it has to stop. I just think we need a, a fresh government coming through with different ideas and hopefully a bit more trustworthy. I take responsibility to listen today and to continue to listen into the future. We will respect the will of Tasmanians and we will respect this election result. A long period of majority government has come to an end. Tasmanian voters refuse to give either of the major parties majority government. Greens hold the balance of power, but neither Liberal nor Labor will talk to them, because it might mean compromising on forestry or the mill. That's why we're still helping Tasmanians get the government they've longed for, one that heals the old divisions and moves towards a sustainable future.